right, so we have a nice solid base coat here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start building up some lighter layers and textures into her skin. But you'll notice my brush strokes, for the most part, uh, tend to move towards the direction of the, the highlight areas. So wherever the raised areas are, I try to move my brush from where the shadows would be up into where the highlights would be. This is a really good technique for what's essentially called pulling pigment. So the thinner your paints are, especially, as you move your brush, they pull the pigment along with them. It's kind of like if you have a, a broom and you're sweeping the dust, you know, as you move your broom across the surface, it carries most of the dust with it. Some of the little dust will get left behind, no brooms aren't perfect, but it pushes the dust with it. So it's kind of the same idea with the paint. As you pull your paintbrush, it tends to pull the pigments with it, leaving some behind but pulling the majority of them towards the, the end of your brush stroke. So you'll notice that when we highlight, when I'm, when I'm building up lighter colors, I'm pulling my brush in the direction of where the brighter points are going to be. And we're going to reverse that when we go into the shadows, start painting in some of the shadows. We're going to take our brush the other direction. We're going to go from the brighter areas down into where we want it to be darker. If you remember, I said we're going to try to make a pinkish or a reddish tone to her skin. That'll get added later, more in the, uh, the shading phase. And we'll do some glazing too to add some tone to her, to her skin. For right now, we're just trying to build up texture and layering of layers to her skin so that we start to define some of the highlight areas.